Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna be telling you guys a few of the things that happen when somebody's doing witchcraft on you and the feelings that you will get when somebody's doing witchcraft on you and stuff. You'll feel very tired, like you don't wanna get up out of bed and you will feel sick and like you just not really be motivated to do anything really and you won't want to get stuff finished and even when you're like halfway finished with something you'll just want to like stop right there and pretty much not finish it and that's just one thing right there while you're awake and they're doing it you can feel it like you might just feel like really dizzy out of nowhere and you can just be like sitting down or something and you just like out of nowhere just feel dizzy and stuff and that's people doing witchcraft on you and stuff and another thing that happens too while they're doing witchcraft on you is you can like you could you could have have just eaten like some food and out of nowhere like you're just chilling and stuff and then out of nowhere you just feel like your stomach is like really really empty and you don't know why because you like just ate and stuff and that's another thing that happens too and like another thing that happens too is you'll kind of feel like woozy like you want to pass out it's kind of like what that dizziness -ness that i was telling you guys about they really try to make you just feel crappy so you don't get stuff done and you don't want to go to work and don't get anything done so things start falling apart in your life and stuff it'll also make you feel very sick to the point where like I mean you can just be sick you know because people do get sick and stuff but if you're normally like the type of person that rarely ever gets sick and you just been feeling sick lately like here and there that's people doing witchcraft on you I feel like I wanted to make this video to explain it to people that could be possibly going through it so when they notice that it's happening they just pray against it and not get attacked they'll send spirits out to attack people around you like let's say you're at your job place or something there'll be somebody there that just tries to get on your nerves like every single day and it's because they sent a spirit into that person and that person's really there to try to get you in trouble so you probably get fired from your job or something like that and that's the type of stuff that they do with like literally everything you know they just send spirits out on people and these spirits just continually attack them if you don't know about it and if you don't pray about it they'll just keep on attacking you until things start falling apart in your life and stuff the stuff that i'm saying about people sending spirits out into people is very real and i know like a good portion of y'all people have realized it like you know you could be working you know minding your business and stuff and then you just say one thing to somebody then they just start snapping on you like like really crazy you know like not on like no like talk it out type of way like they're really just like trying to make you like do something to them in a way and that's some spirits just trying to harm you and mess up let's say it's your job or something or mess up whatever you're at you know mess up something with your family you know they they do all types of things they just want you to fall into depression and not have no type of motivation to do anything and then that's why they do all this stuff because they 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 know if things start falling apart in your life you'll fall into depression and you won't be the same person that you were before and you won't be as happy as you were and that's really the stuff that they don't like they just don't like to see happy people it's really demons working through these people that know that you can most most of the people that get attacked <clears throat> most of the people that get attacked with this stuff are usually happy people and demons don't really like happy people at all and this is why these demons go working through people to get people to do witchcraft on you and stuff and make you pretty much they're trying to make you have no heart you know and people that have no heart don't make it to heaven and that's the main thing why these demons do this and stuff it usually happens to really happy people the only reason why these people really do witchcraft on you is because you make them feel some type of way about how happy you are or how nice of a person you are or just something that you do that they can't do and they know they can't do they just these people are very competitive and they just they have a type of mindset where they think that everybody's trying to be better than them and stuff even though there's always somebody out there that's better than you and like it's like 
I don't know how they can't see that. Like there's there's people better than the person that they're doing witchcraft on, you know? Like I just think that that witchcraft stuff is weird. Like how can you have so much hate in your heart that you just want to mess somebody's life up that has no problems with you. You just live in your life, you know, and these people will see that and it bothers them because they're not living their life and stuff and they feel so affected by seeing you actually living your life how they want to live their life and stuff and that's what makes these people do that and it's a devil too like just forcing in thoughts into their head telling them things and then they believe it and then they they end up getting mad at you and that's when that weird attitude comes out of them and they, they start treating you funny it's because these demons are playing with their minds and stuff and they have no real control over their real mind the main thing that these people don't want out of you is for you to be happy and successful like that bothers them so much and you can be the type of person that will even if you get somewhere in life you will help them get more up in life too and they will not care they would rather take that number one spot they will they don't want to see you in that number one spot because they just have that competitive mindset that the devil put in them from a young age and they kept it in them for good you know and they're that that seeds just fully grown in them and they they just these people don't really know how to see past that they can become just like you or have whatever you have or do something how you do it or maybe in a different way that's still unique you know they just all they can see is you're gonna take the number one spot and they hate it and they will do anything even do witchcraft spells on you to try to kill you try to cause car accidents to happen on you and stuff i think that that's really weird like if somebody is very nice to you you should be very nice to them back the hate stuff comes from the devil himself like this goes all the way back to before the devil got kicked out of heaven if you really pay attention to who the devil really is he is the first hater to ever exist and you can learn a lot from just seeing how the devil does things and realize that that's exactly how these haters move and stuff they just do weird things like that just like the devil like the devil hates god so much but he wants to be god and that's exactly how these haters are they'll they'll literally tell you that oh that outfit doesn't look right it looks really lame and then you'll see them doing that same exact like they'll they'll wear the same exact outfit as you and try to treat you like you never had that conversation with them and stuff it just shows that this is the devil behind all of this stuff like all those spirits that got kicked out of heaven that are still working here on earth and stuff they are just like the devil too they all have that hatred in their hearts and they they don't even if they, I don't even think they have a heart really but they have hate in them like that's all they can really put out like they have no type of love in them and that's why these people that play with this witchcraft stuff are like that because they're just like that in the heart that's why they don't like to see people happy and stuff they literally they literally are possessed by evil spirits and they think that it's them that's like this, but it's these evil spirits that planted this seed in them a while ago when they were very young and they just grew into it and now they're fully like that. Like they're just like a demon, like demons. They're just like the devil towards God. The devil hates God so much, but he wants to be God. If any of you guys know about that, God kicked Satan out of heaven because he wanted to be God. And these, these people that do witchcraft spells on you and stuff and try to take you out and stuff, they hate you so much, but they want to be you. It's just super weird to me that they're like that, but that's how these people are. And I just had to make this video to make it more clear to you guys and stuff and be more aware of this stuff, you know, and be more aware of the symptoms that happen to you and stuff when somebody is messing with you. All you gotta really do to stay protected from that stuff is pray. pray all the stuff that could have been stolen from you is pretty much not yours anymore like let god know that you don't want it no more and pray that all the witchcraft that they could be using with stuff that they stole from you out there or given to you 
just pray that you that that Jesus breaks it in the name of Jesus with fire Jesus and the fire Jesus straight through the roots of all those curses generational curses in your life and really stay prayed up and that stuff will not affect you and the only thing that's gonna really happen to to everything about this is really these people are gonna end up getting a karma cycle to hit them you know it, everything that they are trying to force onto you is not gonna happen and it's gonna turn around on them and everything that they preyed on you is gonna start happening to them in their lives and this is very real and I just want to let y'all know that you'll know when to pray and you'll know when people are trying to mess with you and mess with your life and that's when you just go to start praying against everything and you'll stay protected that's all I really have to say for this video though peace out 7 gang